Hello and welcome to another Profile Tree tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Squarespace and in particular we're going to be talking about creating a blog for your website. So we'll start by logging in. If you haven't already made an account, you can create an account using your email address or you can log in with Google, Facebook or Twitter. Once you've logged in, just go to the top right hand corner and click create a site. So before we begin creating the blog, I just want to talk a little bit about blogs. Blogs are extremely important to a website, depending on what your website's about. Even if it's an e-commerce website, blogs can help you get traffic to your site simply through the keywords that you use in your blog content. So let's begin. So scroll down to the templates and in the top category select blogs and then choose a style that you like that looks sleek and aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing and one that suits the style of your business. I am going to go for native. Okay, so welcome to your new Squarespace site. Just click start and then we will begin. So we'll start with the actual blog. So if you go to pages and click blog, this is what your blog is going to look like. So you can decide whether you want it to be so image heavy or if you want it to be more text heavy. You can also insert your own images by simply clicking edit. So now we're into the editing suite. You can just click on anything to and click the little bin icon if you want to remove it and replace it with your own image. Just be sure that you don't um, remove an image that you don't want to remove as you cannot undo that. So to add your own, simply click the teardrop icon and click image, then upload an image. Go to your where your images will be stored and open. It will automatically process and resize it for you and then you click apply. So that's one image in, and then to edit text, simply hover over the text and click on it. And then put whatever information you want in and try to focus on the keywords that you're using. So try and use keywords that will attract visitors to the products that you're selling on your page or the information that your page is given. And you can also edit other things on the page. So if we go back to our teardrop icon, we can add a button, audio, embed a video, many different things using the teardrop icon. Maybe add some social links, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, it's all in here. 
So once you click add social links, it will bring this up and you type in the email link to the account that you are trying to link it with and just put that in there and then you can edit the design of the links here. When you're done, click apply. The next thing I want to show you is if you go back off the editor, you will see over on the left hand side of the page, you have all the blog entries that you've written in this section, all the drafts that you've saved, all the blogs that you've marked for review, and any scheduled blogs that you've, you've got. So if we click add post, and we enter a post title. So you can, if you click draft, you can save it there as a draft, or you can mark it for review. And then different editors on the website can come in and read through it. And once they have done that, they can publish it for review themselves. You can also use this feature to schedule a post for a certain date or time in the future. So if we click draft and then save, that should appear in your draft. There you are. And if we go back, go back onto it and edit it, and then change it from draft to need to review, save. There it is. And finally, publish. Now it will appear on your website. Okay, so now what I want to do is just take you through the blog settings. So if you click on the little cog icon, and this will bring you into the basic settings. So this is your navigation title, which basically is how it appears in search engines. The little, when you type it in on Google, it's the, the little title that will appear on the search, search engine or browser. And that's your URL slug, so the little part after the web address so you can edit that if it's going to be just whatever you like or maybe you want it to be something that people will find easier so just whatever you like you can change your URL slug in here um, just try and make sure that you don't have two of the same URL slugs, it won't let you do it anyway, but just be sure that all your URL slugs are different. Um, the, the number of posts that you want to display on each page, you can set a limit. It's all quite self-explanatory. And your page title, so that's the title that will come up on the front of the blog on the page. And then you've got your page description, which is optional, but I do thoroughly recommend uh, entering a page description as it will help with SEO, which we'll get onto in a minute. So whatever your blog's about. And yeah, just try and include as many keywords as you can relevant to what your blog is about and Google will then rank your blog higher based on the number of views that it gets and the watch time or how long someone is reading your blog and if they click on any other links under your website. So while we're on the subject of SEO, if you click on SEO, your site title will appear here and this is your home page. Search engines use information from your site's SEO settings to show your page in their search results, which you can preview here. If you set another page as your home page, you can edit this page, page's SEO information here. So this is just where you edit all the search engine optimization information. 
Um, yeah, so if you want to hide anything from search engines, you just tick one of these circle boxes. Uh, moving on to social. So you can upload an image for your website which the search engine will use. So if you upload the image here, it will use it to help people find your website. If you don't upload it, it will either, either use your social sharing logo or your site logo. So it's just something to think about that is optional. Moving on to media, your banner slash thumbnail image. This image is often used for the header area banners or as a thumbnail in a list. So if you want to upload that, it's the place to do it. Syndication, you can connect your Apple News account, your RSS feed or podcasting and any additional tags that you want to include. So yeah, that's the settings for the blog. So now I'm just gonna do one new post. Just take you through each step of how to construct the post and what you can do to edit it. So the post title is going to be blog entry two. So we go to options, you get the option of adding a thumbnail image. So go ahead and select that and simply put an image in. So if you share your blog post on any forms of social, social media or if someone else shares your blog for you on social media, this is the thumbnail icon that will come up with the post. Then, as we've mentioned before, you can edit the blog URL or the post URL and the source URL. In terms of sharing, you can use Squarespace email campaigns to send this post to your audience. So if you want to create an email campaign to send the blog post, you can do it here and connect your social media accounts so that you can, when you, anytime you post, blogs that will automatically post to your various social media outlets and finally the location of your post so if you have a business premises go ahead and enter that and go ahead and save that So that's just a very brief introduction of how to create a blog website using Squarespace. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or contact us at hello at profiletree.com. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.